Hello everyone, it's Tashara Alexander, your real estate specialist, and it is time for another episode of Talks with Tashara. It's very important for me to share information with my clients, future and past, to just get you ready for the real estate market and to expose you to everything that I know that's going to help you become a more savvy buyer and or seller. So the thing I want to talk about today is how to choose the correct real estate agent. Okay, I always say not all agents are created equal, but it's very important for you to look for certain things, um, to talk to them about certain things, to make sure that that partnership is going to work because real estate within itself is difficult. Finding your dream home is one thing, finding the finances to make that happen, but the last thing you need is an incompetent agent by your side who is making things a little bit more difficult. Um, I've had the pleasure to work with wonderful agents. I consider myself one of them. I have the Google reviews to prove it. Um, I do feel like if you talk to any clients that have closed with me, they will say great things that I give 100%, that I'm readily available to help, and that I make sure that the deal closes. So I want you guys to have that same experience. Even if you're not in the Marietta area or Cobb County area, please contact me if you are. I do service Cobb County, Fulton County, and Paulding. But let's say you're not in this area and you don't have access to me. I want you to know what to look for because I, I've seen deals go left because they were not, people were not represented by a true professional. And then I can give you a, a long laundry list of agents who are phenomenal. Some who are my mentors, my friends, there are some agents out there killing it. So it really saddens me when I see people attached to agents that are just there for the check or who are just there um, because someone sent them or they're representing someone else. You need someone who knows exactly what they're doing and that's going to get you to the closing table, okay? So, I don't know if you guys knew this, but you can interview your agent. Please do not circle neighborhoods, get the first person on the sign and call and assume that because that person has a license that they're going to be for your best interest. You need to have questions set up for them. You need to ask them how long have they been in business. Um, you need to make sure that they understand your needs. Do they work with buyers more so than sellers? Can they? How can they market your property? What things are they going to offer that the next agent won't offer? We all know there are tons of agents in this building. I'm sorry, in this business, or probably in your building as well. But there are tons of them. So how do you cipher through who is going to be best for you? by interviewing them. Come up with about five to eight questions and make sure that they can answer those questions. Now, I'm not saying that every question has to have a perfect answer. There may be things they don't know. Maybe they are new agents. I've seen some new agents who are phenomenal and hungry. And a newer agent is not necessarily a bad thing because they do have the most current information in this market. Whereas, I know two properties ago, I hired a lady who her sign was everywhere in this particular neighborhood. Um, older lady had been in the business for years and it was a terrible experience. You know, I didn't interview, I just assumed because she had her sign in yards that she was the best person. You have to hire an agent. Just because you call them, it's not that they're blessed to work with, I mean that you're blessed to work with them. No, they're blessed to work with you. So you have to approach the situation with questions to your specific needs. What is it that you're looking for? What is it you're trying to accomplish? And how long do you want to accomplish this? I always say the market is tough. And I'm going to do another video on the current market just to let you guys know where things are. But people are still buying houses. So don't think that you, know, you can't purchase a home because it's a seller's market. Transactions are still closing every day. I'm doing very well in the business. My clients are all under contract. Um, I do have, actually, today I have another interview to onboard a new buyer, but I'm getting them under contract fairly quickly. So it's not the market per se. Sometimes it's your agent or your lender um, or how fast your credit repair is going. One thing I pride myself in is one, being a top-notch professional, but also connecting myself to other top-notch professionals. Because if one person fails at their job throughout a transaction, guys, it could derail the entire deal. So everyone needs to be on point. Agents who don't answer their phones, they don't know your area or not willing to learn your area. Um, agents who don't seem hungry, who don't seem like they want your business, you don't have to offer that to them. You can terminate that agreement and you can move on to someone else. And again, 
I know that most people I'm talking to will never work with me, but I want the best experience for you. It's very important for me that you have the best experience so that you can get to your dream home quicker um, and with less hiccups, okay? So again, I've been a part of great transactions where everyone is on point and I give credit. I'll give you credit on social media if you're an excellent lender, if you're a great credit repair person, if you're a great attorney. I make sure that people know who the top-notch professionals are. Um, but also, I've had some deals where I'm like, how did this person get hired? Honestly, everybody's just not created equal. So again, interview your realtor. If it's not working out, let them know you can't terminate that agreement. Um, there are certain circumstances that go with that. You don't Here's the other thing though, don't waste an agent's, let me say this for all realtors, don't waste an agent's time. You know you have a cousin who has a real estate license, but you're using up this professional's time, having them find properties for you, and then you're going to say thank you and then let your realtor, I mean your cousin realtor, close the deal. Unfair, I don't believe good things happen to people who do that. If you're going to use your professional's time, make sure they're compensated by getting their, um, their commission. Okay, we pay for every other service. So if you have a person who's doing what they're supposed to do so far as your real estate transaction, let them get paid for that. Because um, I feel like people who play games like that, things don't end up well for you in the end. But get your realtor in the first place that you can trust so that person can see you through the entirety of the deal and you can be successful, guys. Um, I do pride myself on presenting um, a very exceptional experience as it relates to real estate. So if you are in my three areas, Paulding County, Fulton County, and Cobb County, please give me a call, 229-886-8716. And I would love to assist you. If you are not in my area, get you out of pad write out some questions, interview people until you find that one. And you'll know when you find the right agent, you'll know this is the person for me, guys. So I hope that was helpful for you. It's another episode of Talks with Tashara. And don't forget to subscribe if you have not. I have a lot of great new content coming up, so don't miss it, guys. Until next time, have a great rest of the day. Bye.